now we will see some example on steel beam design for bearing so this example is a small small example uh, first example is uh, is talking about wave yielding and wave crippling so you you know that for beam bearing uh, there are six consideration one is wave building one is wave crippling one is uh, plate bearing other is plate uh, bending other one is support uh, support cap uh, support capacity or support bearing stress other one is um, um, flange buckling so six six uh, so first two is way building and way of cabling so let us see uh, how to do it is very simple uh, yeah this example is given like this there's a column here and the beam here there's a plate here that length is six inch the width of the plate should be the width of the beam also uh, okay so uh, what is the section give uh, gi used is w1850 so for this section we know all the geometric properties from aisc manual chapter one now before going there so way building what are the equation if i go back to see the equation uh, way building two equation if x is greater than d this is the capacity next equation is uh, in the this equation if x is equal or is smaller than d then this is the capacity and all the parameters k uh, f y t w are uh, should be known so these are the two equation we should use to find the capacity of the um, for wave yielding so let us see what is here in the example so what is given now what is our x x is the load uh, load application from the end of the beam so this is the end of the beam and load is applied at the middle here the reaction is we can consider the middle so x is 30 feet, 3 feet or 36 inch now what is our d d should be this 18 to find more accurately we should use the aisc manual because sometimes this value is not exactly the d it is a rounded uh, rounded number okay so what is our d here from the aisc manual table 1.1 .1, they found that d is 18 is is good my x is 36 is so obviously x is greater than d so you know which oh, we, then you know the equation to be used so we are building this is the equation why this is the equation because our x is greater than d so this is our equation where phi is one k is from asc manual and in last video i show what is k uh, is a geometric property just discarding that um, round section near the wave so k is known n is the bearing plate length f y yield stress of the material whatever the material we, we use what kind of material we use so if i go back uh, it is astm a572 grade grade 50 for this material the yield stress is 50 ksi if you do not find it go to chapter 2 of your aic manual most probably chapter uh, table 2.4 so m all the properties uh, are, are known just to use the right equation so yes we found that the capacity is 192 how much load we are applying 100 kip why 100 kip go back uh, the support reaction here is 100 kip that means this wave is good for yielding because my capacity is larger than whatever i am applying now, now let us see what is capacity for wave crippling if you can remember for wave crippling we have three equations three equations you have to choose one which one depend these three equations so you have to choose one which one depends on the value of x and d and n so if x is equal or greater than d this is your capacity is it our case try to remember our x is 36 inch d is 18 inch so this is 9 yes it's clear that this is our case if this is our case i do not need to check this too okay so this is our uh, equation and now all the all the all the parameters are known from the asc manual or given should be given or asc manual whatever section you are using uh, this is the way they calculated the capacity of wave crippling
if I go there, yes. So all the parameters are known from ASC manual and make sure E, E is in KSI, KSI, not PSI, KSI. This should be in KSI, if I is in KSI, your answer is in KIPS. So we got that the capacity of this section for wave crippling is 172 KIPS and we are applying only 100. That means it is good. So this section, the trial section W, uh 1850 is it 1850 let me check one more time uh yes w 1850 is good for wave if wave yielding and wave crippling so hopefully you understood how to design for wave yielding and wave crippling okay so in our uh, next example is all, all about the capacity of a a concrete wall the support bearing stays so before that we will stop here in our next video we will start that thank you